Welcome back. Uh, claim it. Claim your spark of humanity. Uh, this is going to be a show about uh, claiming your spark of humanity. It's a production of the Spark of Humanity Network. I'm here with, uh, I'm Maura Quinn. I'm here with Martha Holden and Ann Wade. And we're going to talk about claiming your spark, strengthening your spark. And Martha is going to uh, guide us. Maybe. Let's hope. Um, we were talking about the, our spark of humanity. The booklet, the video, end up with the question, how might you claim your spark? So to practice claiming our spark, we thought we'd do a few exercises that when we exercise our spark, not surprisingly, it strengthens the spark. And so we will do a few simple exercises, and we'll talk about that as we go through the simple exercises. Fair enough? Fair enough. Fair Sounds enough. good. Let's start. Okay, good. So, and you can join us because the sparks transcend time and space. So I get in touch with, my, I locate my own spark. Do we need Some, to close our eyes? Or? I, I, you don't need to, you may. Sometimes people find that easier. Okay. If they close their eyes, you're welcome to if you want to. Thanks for asking. I generally find my spark somewhere in the area of my solar plexus. One of those chakras there, somewhere. And so if we take a few moments to just rest with our spark wherever we may locate it. Some people sometimes find their sparks not in their body. Some her outside of their energy field. It's all okay, there's no wrong place. There's no wrong way. Just spend a few moments feeling your spark and where it is and becoming acquainted with it. When that feels comfortable enough, settled enough, I here will reach out from my spark and connect with Maura's spark and Anne's spark. And they can connect with each other's sparks. And you at home or wherever you are can connect with our sparks or some other sparks that may be in the room with you. See whether that, whether you feel a change, whether your spark seems any different. And maybe we'll take a little break here to ask Anne and Maura whether your spark feels any different when you connect it. I was, I was doing a. I had taken Tai Chi years and years ago, and, it f and, and I was envisioning it and f feeling the energy like, like of a, a ball mm -hmm. in my hands, and, and kind of in thinking about, you know, feeling, having it outside of myself just to get it out there and to be able to feel it and acknowledge it. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to maybe, I could take it and swallow it. <laughs> or I could like rub it all over me. You know, I was just just playing with the concept of, of having it and being able to really look at it and see it's the beauty of it and the light and the so that's where I went first I sat and you know tried to feel it inside me and then all of a sudden I was I, w I was prompted to to play with it <laughs> uh -huh. but it's the first time I've actually 
had this experience of being asked to look at my spark. You know, I've, I've kind of felt it when I'm with other people, but mm. I haven't, this is a new concept for me of claiming it. And yeah. so, but it's exciting. So when you were invited to connect it with the Mores and my spark, how was it that? Did that change anything? I haven't. I haven't really done that you yet. You didn't that yet. Okay. So we'll go back to that when we okay. go back to the meditation. Okay. Let's check Mora. Yeah. I. It, it was. Uh, got physically, I felt a little bit warmer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was focusing on my breathing, and breathing in as if breathing in were giving oxygen to the flame mm -hmm. of the spark or mm -hmm. the, the increasing the heat. Mm -hmm. that was manifested there and then breathing out was just sort of it wasn't putting it out it was just sort of letting it have that wave of the flame you know how mm -hmm. and you look into a fireplace and you see that that flame and you see it moving like that and so it was it was trying to come to some point of stabilization mm -hmm. in the core with the breathing going on mm -hmm. because although honestly I, I must say I love the idea of of holding it in your hand and kind of playing with it. But for me, it's, it's, it's nothing outside of myself other than energy outside of myself. And in that, you know, on a molecular level, I just look at all the different molecules that are you and that are me and you and our friend Zach over there and, uh, and you guys out there. And that really, made me have more of a sense of a belonging, mm. of, of a connection, of some kind of, uh, there's a book called Molecules of Emotion, and that idea of breathing in and breathing out and, and what that is, okay. it's, 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 it's separate and yet it's part. Okay, so, so being separate and part at the same time. Okay, so when you were invited to connect your spark from your spark, connect with an affirm Anne's and my spark, was that did that change anything? It did felt more anything? playful. Okay. Maybe that's part of my default is the playfulness, but it right. when you were you know, a, a kid, your automatic well, when I was a kid, I would want to reach out and play. Mm. Or just reach out, mm. reaching out. That was maybe it was initially it was for give me I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was just with a, a premature baby about a month ago, and I'll never forget her hand and the way that it her perfect little hand and the way that it reached out and gestured. Mm. Connection. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It was. It was. It made me very conscious of life. Right, right. And something, and, and I'll tell you what, that's had a, a, a profound impact Good. on me. Uh, and being aware of that and bringing me back to my spark of humanity, because I think you can get complacent, you can get that defense, you can get that, all that distortion mm -hmm. around it. And then when you're with pure love mm -hmm. and light, it, it affirms the love and light within me. It, it draws it forth. Yeah. It, it invites it yeah. forth. Okay, and good. It, yeah. It can't help but grow. And then as I share that experience, mm -hmm. I can then feel like growing in you, and I can feel it growing in you and you guys. And, you know, I, it's mm. amazing. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, well, let's then go back bring back. And to bring it back. Bring it back, and then we will go back to each other and then we'll reach out a little bit from here from this room okay, okay. yeah so coming back to wherever our spark of humanity is at the moment once again claiming it as it rests or breathes or does whatever it's doing at the moment And then reaching out, letting it reach out through that, through our spark. This is, not, this is not a head trip. It's not a cognitive trip. Reaching out 
to the, I'm reaching out to the two sparks, Anne and Maura, here. I'm inviting them to reach out to each other and me. See whether that feels any different or the same. <laughs> whether it's more sparkly or more playful. From there, we can reach out to the other people in the studio. And you, who are watching us on the screen, listening to it, might reach out to the other people in the building you're in. See how that feels. And maybe rather than expanding that field, thinking of someone who you want to connect with, who may need some strength, who may need some support. may be aching. Or sad. Or just or angry. And connect your spark with their spark. See how that feels. And then come on back. And the guided meditations on the website, which will be given at the end of the show, um, we continue out, but because we want to hear what Ann and Maura have to say about the experience. We keep coming back. Generally, it's just a constant stretching, which I think is easier than the coming back. But we have this opportunity, so here we are. So how was that? That was great. I will tell you something, and, and, and thank you for coming back. And when I was thinking about sharing the spark with someone that's suffering or sad, I felt very tentative at first because who am I to have, who am I? I want to share, but I don't know who I am to share or what right I have to share or be. But I guess I, I, I don't know. Where, where, do you, where do you take that? Because I felt tentative. Because I felt you, like you have a spark of humanity. It's not more. Okay. It's not more. Okay. It's your spark of humanity. Mm -hmm connecting with the other person's spark of humanity. It's nothing about your personality. So I need nothing to let the self go. Nothing about who you are. Oh, yeah. Let the ego go. Oh, okay. That helps. That yeah, helps. I'm glad you brought it up. That, that really helps because that was, that was creating a distortion in the spark. That was creating a, a contortion almost right. of it because I was feeling that, and that had to do with me. Right, it's not your about distortions me. of your spark. It's not right. about me. It's about the spark. It's about right, exactly. So getting used to that. <sighs> okay, good. Yeah. Good point. That's good. Yes, Anne. Well, I I found I I enjoyed the exercise of it, mm -hmm. but I was very selfish about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I just when Martha said to to give it away or to think about other people, I, 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 could, I could just feel myself just like, oh, no, no, no. You mm. want to just keep it for yourself right now. And the same thing like thinking about somebody else. At first I thought about somebody at the hospital, and mm. then, and then I, I was like, no, no, no. I, 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 mm. I was surprised that 
I didn't want to give uh -huh. it away. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's well, very good. That's authentic. Right. That's yeah. real. But yeah. so so it's I could see how it's kind of shocked me, uh, but because it, I it felt so, you know for just a quick little mm -hmm. meditation like that, mm -hmm. whether it's the power of the three of us being together or something that was for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it it's just you guys. it it did feel intense enough to where. I, it was very nice. It was like a little power meditation of sorts right. that, and getting clear about that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's yeah. We bump into our defenses, the distortions, the bafflement, as we're working on this part. Yeah, it's it's a uh, good. That's Both very that's good. Yeah. very interesting. Okay, so shall we? Go a little further? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Good. You guys going to come along with us? <laughs> come along with us. Please do. And uh, something about yeah. being in here and, 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 and doing this mm -hmm. and knowing that you beautiful people are out there in the dark <laughs> is we can just let that go. We, uh, for me, mm -hmm. it's, I just feel like I can let it go. What am I holding on to? What right. am I holding on to? Right. And it... It's liberating, honestly. Mm, mm. I, I was in a meeting the, the other day, and, and there was a lot of discord going on, and I thought, you know, when there's so much discord coming on, at some point it comes to form a certain harmony of discord. And harmony, no matter what its source, harmony cr lifts up. Mm, mm, yeah. And, yeah, and so, it was so let lightened it. Be. it. Yeah. So let it be. Yeah. Right. So and, I'll, yeah, and I'll just say how, how it is how for me. Really, I yeah. get... I feel um, warmer, as mm -hmm. you said before, and I can feel my spark stronger when I'm doing this. And it's really, and it, I think it helps a lot having you guys there and everybody in the studio and the building and you guys. It, it's very, it's much more, I can feel much more power, which is, which is good. Yeah. Because it feels like it's, because it's good stuff we're doing. Okay, let's head. It's Head a powerful flow. It's like it's like a right joining it. It's not like a right. little drip 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 drip. No. It's a lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Letting our stu stuff move us forward, Martha. Letting our stuff get out of the way. <laughs> Client noticing it, naming yeah. it, you yeah. know, and and letting it go. Trusting the work of the spark. Okay. <sighs> okay. Back with our sparks, wherever they may be. Nestling in with them, <laughs> cuddling up to them, holding them, just resting with them. Becoming better acquainted we are, as well as getting to experience some of our bafflements and some of our distortions and some of our defenses. All of which are there to be acknowledged. But the point is the spark, to rest with the spark and know that the spark, the power of the spark, the capacity, the potential of the spark is not, is not crimped, does not need to be crimped by the defenses, the distortions of the bafflement. So just being with the spark and feeling it Maybe a little stronger now. Maybe ready. If we feel like it, we can connect in with the other people in this room in front of the camera and the people behind the camera. But we don't need to. Wherever our sparks, whether the sparks feel they pick up nourishment and stability and community by connecting in with the others or whether they feel at the moment they don't need that. And then we let someone come to mind. Who we've had a tense interaction with, with whom We've had some difficulty 
in the recent past. Somebody will just float up to mind. You don't have to shuffle through the whole card file. Hmm. Someone will come to mind. Doesn't make any difference who they are. Just <sighs> accept whoever it is that comes to mind. And let your spark, because your mind may just be completely incredulous about this, let your spark connect with and affirm their spark. and feel it and feel how your spark responds to that, giving it free reign, not trying to judge it or control it, mm -hmm. letting your spark respond to that other spark as it will, the two sparks together. There's another meditation I want to do, but I think we have time to get comments and experiences from this one before we go on to the last one. So come back, bring your focus back to yourself, to your spark, to your experience, to a place where you can find words and articulate. Who wants to go first? Well, I could go. I have uh, dancing. It was sort of a dancing kind of a flame. You know, the moving, it, it was not just playful, but it was really engaged in a, mm. in a divine dance or something. And, and it was, it, you can stare at a flame for hours and hours and hours. And so you experience your spark as a flame. You will sort of a flaming dance. Okay. Yeah. Just wondering. A gesture. Uh, that that expression. Movement. Right. Movement. Okay. Yeah. Right. There's 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 some movement that's involved. It's not static. So the right. So the two sparks were interweaving in relationship. Yes. yes they were. And it was very different doing than the other. Something creative. And yeah. When I went with 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 that, and I guess that's the nature of the beast sometimes is is if, if, if you have two sparks that are if you're having some issues with this spark mm -hmm. and you're that spark sometimes it could get into a fight or sometimes it could go Whee! you know and twirl all around and <laughs> and that could either be twirling into the ground forever in a bad way or it could be like I can fly sparks don't fight but the defenses fight Okay, and the distortions fight, but yeah, I get it. Yeah, but okay. I could fly. Right, right. You, could, you could almost fly. I could fly. Right. You could fly. <laughs> yeah. That's what I liked about it. Yeah. And yeah, I I had um, difficulty narrowing it down to just one <laughs> <laughs> because I I did have a conversation with my siblings this morning, so I was thinking about my siblings okay. and 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 I felt like l like these layers. Mm. But they never really came together. Oh. But I, I was just aware of their differences, or you know, it was like almost like cloud formations. And then at the end, it was yellow. But but and then when I opened my eyes, like right above you, I saw this big yellow blob. Hmm. So was your spark connecting with the sparks of your siblings, or you were just through your spark observing? It felt like just just observing. Right. I didn't. I you didn't really connecting feel connecting. And affirming. No. Right. No. I was. I couldn't. I couldn't get there. You know. I okay. felt like. Okay. There was something. There, a blockage. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is yeah. is that part of it? You will Yoda and Star. I'm not a Star Wars kind of crazy, but not that there's nothing wrong with Star Wars. But Yoda says, "Don't. What was it like? Don't think the. Mm -hmm. Like, don't." Think about engaging with them, engage with them. Right. Oh. Don't think about right. picking this up, pick it up. Right. Don't think about walking, walk. Right. Don't think right. about breathing, right. breathe. I get it. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You think that might be part of it? Is yeah. that helpful? Yeah, that is helpful. Do you want to 
go back again sure. for another quick, we've got sure. just a few moments. Come okay. on with us, guys. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, back to our sparks. Okay. Let's invite our sparks to lead our awareness maybe to the scariest person we can think of or maybe not, maybe to something less scary, less challenging maybe to someone who needs us the most, mm -hmm. maybe to someone we know who's hurting the most, maybe doesn't need us the most, but the spark could use some strengthening and some bolstering. Maybe someone who's no longer in the physical body or hasn't yet come into the physical body. or some entity in another, another part of the galaxy. Somewhere where the spark, having been exercised, claimed and exercised, draws you, draws your awareness and let yourself be there. then you can, because you can return to this whenever you want mm -hmm. on your own. And we need to wrap up this particular time on the camera, bring it back, and let's hear how it was. We have very few seconds. Yeah, it felt like I just, uh, I just dropped the curtain. It felt good. It felt like dropping the curtain and, you know, so good. So the spark was out, revealed. Out, and out, out in the open. Yeah. Okay. And? and and I just I couldn't focus on any people. Mm -hmm. It was just just pure peace. Just like just light. Just just nice comfort. But no, I couldn't good. get yeah. any. Don't need to have people. Good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank everybody very much. Come back and we go to the Spark of uh, Humanity Network online. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>